Tonight, Vice President Kamala Harris on the campaign trail in Atlanta, Georgia, a battleground state that could be crucial in November. President Biden winning the formerly red state by less than 12,000 votes in 2020. The Harris campaign says they believe Georgia is in play once again, saying it will be an incredibly close race. The race to be here picked for vice president is coming to a close, with Harris expected to name her choice by August 7th, next Wednesday. North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper pulling his name out of consideration, saying it wasn't the right time. Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro remains an option. Shapiro rallying support for Harris yesterday, saying she is ready. And you know who else knows she's ready? Donald Trump knows she's ready. And you know, you know how I know this? Because he's afraid to debate her now. It's still not clear if Harris and former President Trump will debate. Trump has been wavering since Biden dropped out. Trump on Fox News. If you're going to have a debate, you got to do it, I think, before the votes are cast. I think it's very important that you do that. So the answer is yes, but I can also make a case for not doing it. Today, Trump is facing accusations from his nephew, Fred Trump III. Sitting down with ABC's Aaron Katursky, Trump III claims he witnessed his uncle use a racial slur decades ago. Is he a racist? He at times espouses things that people who I believe are racist Espouses. A spokesman for the Trump campaign says this is completely fabricated and total fake news of the highest order, adding Trump would never use such language. I don't believe he's a racist. I think that he uses people, whether they're black or they're whoever can help him, he will use them. Trump will be in Pennsylvania tomorrow for a rally in Harrisburg, his first rally in Pennsylvania since the assassination attempt in Butler County. And then on Saturday, he and J.D. Vance will be in Atlanta, Georgia for a rally there. Perry Russell, ABC News, Washington.